the wrecking crew. What are you doing, guys? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Isn't that great? 48. Oh, yeah, it's raining. It's supposed to get down in the 30s tonight. No touristas. We got a headwind. That sucks. Seagulls. Yeah. Emergency warming shelter. Right in the avalanche zone. That's interesting. That's new. Yeah, you don't want to get bit by that. That's like a MRSA infection waiting to happen. Not to mention, you know, it's poisonous. That's my other dog imitation. Here we are once again at the wonderful beachside estates of Sweeper Del Mar and our beautiful co-host, George. Right, George? All right, and uh, what do we got? We got some Black Raven Trickster IPA. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Um. Drink cold. Do not sell her. Hmm. That's an enter. I've never seen that on a beer before. I guess they don't want you to hide it in the basement. Maybe get food poisoning later. Ah. But yep. It's a nice balmy. 48 degrees and raining. Slight breeze here and there, and I see a storm of brewing. Big yellow chopper. Heading into the storm. That looks pretty, uh, Nasty out there. Oh well. We can catch me doing that. I might have low fod, but I don't take unnecessary risks. And flying in this weather is an unnecessary risk. Oh frick. Ducks. You know what they say about ducks. It's so damp out here. My my cigar got so it's like so humid it won't stay lit now. It's like just damp. Hauling ass. They are heading back to the airport. This is getting like gray as hell out there. I mean, there's lots of nice wood, but it's soaking. I mean, endless supply of campfire here. You can only dry it out. I always wonder what this stuff went to. Pull this and set it aside though. Nice hunk of two by four. Oh, yeah, there's a wheel life now. I hear shit in the woods. I don't even have the rusty sword of dullness on me. Most of the bears should be up higher altitudes in the meadows. 
it's nothing down here much for them. Huh. Yeah, I am going to go back for the rusty sword. How romantic. A little candlelight here. Um, right, George? Yeah. All right. So I was watching this channel. One of them checkmark channel proper kind of deals. And this guy was going on about excuses, people, you know, about training. Training. And, you know, it's kind of like the vegan thing, you know. Vegans always want you to be a vegan. Cult-like behavior. So, I was checking out the little SHTF cult there. <laughs> and, you know, everybody's got excuses, you know, they work 20 hours a day. And, or your, their job's hard or whatever. So, uh, keyboard, you know, I, uh, I gotta troll it, though I said it, you know, not a troll, but I got a question. What are you training for? This is just an open-ended question. And, boy, I got attacked. <laughs> it's open there. What are you training for? Because yeah. he talked about, you know, oh, the haters and the trolls. And I was like, I'm not being a troll. I'm just, what are you training for? Yeah, yeah, you know, I guess uh, one guy. There was women and children running for their lives in Israel. Is that what you're training for? Don't say it can't happen here. You know, it's like, is that what you're training for? So I ask, what are you training for? Me. This is what I trained for. No cruise ship to take a picture of for maybe till the end of May. Yeah, aliens. Yeah, I did. Munchies and. I got this tuna affrettata. I have no idea what it is. I didn't want to have to cook something. That just seemed like a pain. Um, 5.55, product of the Philippines, I think it is. A fishing boat coming in. Got a lot of action. Going on tonight. 